Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to implement a smart uh, or live text search in your Android app. So this is basically when you search something and the, uh, on the go, when you are typing the search text search string, the uh, the part of the search which matches uh, the search string is highlighted. So we'll try to show how we can do it. So let's begin. We'll create an empty project, new project. Yeah, we'll keep the layout simple as I usually do for most of the stuff. So I'll just keep, name this as a smart live text search app. You can name it anything, it doesn't matter. Rest of the things I leave it as it is. Click finish and wait for the environment to load. Once the environment loads up, this window will come up. Uh, I'll also start the emulator by running this app in parallel. Yeah, so first and foremost, let's go to the layout. And in the layout, probably what we can do is we can. I don't think I need this part, so I'll just remove it. I'll just minimize it. Uh, I don't think I'll need a, a text view. I'll just create a one is a plain text which will be where I'll be entering the text which has to be searched. Okay, and the other one could be multi line text. So this I will hard code some, some text here in which. The part which is searched will be written. So, uh, some kind of simple. Okay, so let me first finish this multi line text. I'll just minimize emulator also. Let it come up in parallel. <coughs> so, here I don't think I need this. I'll just keep edit text. Uh, search. Or to be searched. I just to be. Just okay, easy. it doesn't matter, it's just an ID, so you have this refactor. What else I need is a scroll down and in the text over here. Okay, it again popped up. I don't know why it came all of a sudden. I'll just again minimize it or oh. yeah, and I will type something in this, like say for example, okay. I, I think I just copy paste something, so say for a simple text message to test a smart search a smart live search implementation in android app so I'll press enter and if you see this text has come so i'm just hard putting that text over here of course and the intention is not to spend too much of time uh, in showing uh, yeah so this will be, this part will be of course uh, in some other uh, widget it will come which needs to be searched here yeah. by default gives name which I don't think I'll keep it I'll just remove it I'll change the, uh, this one to edit text key probably I can enter it as key so basically here we'll be entering the key or the word which has to be searched and if I scroll down so I think I'll have to give some kind of hint since okay search key here okay perfect so this all from the layout perspective. Now if I quickly go here in my Java code, so I will have to define edit text two variables. One is the edit text key and the other one will be edit text probably search to be searched. I think that's what we named it to be okay now if I scroll down or oh, uh, I mean in the own create method itself I'll just one by one first assign this to the like widget r dot id dot edit text key and the second one will be of course find you by id r dot id dot to be search perfect so now we can start our consider I don't know why this is ladies if I read on the code let me see the emulator. So emulator has come up. If I read and let's see what it comes up anyway. Yeah, I can see that error has gone away. I'm, I was not sure why that error comes. Anyway, <coughs> I will continue. So what we'll do is, okay, so this is a text which we have uh, pasted here. I mean, hard coded and we'll type something and expect this say, for example, if I type uh, text message, so some kind of highlight, some kind of underlining or something happens here so that I can see, okay, this part of the text is 
being searched here. So let's try to implement that over here. Right now, of course, it's not implemented. So we'll put a listener on this uh, key. So this is uh, our edit text key. So in this, we'll add listener. So there are, I think I'll go with the first one, add text change listener. I'll just enter and I'll have to put a new watcher. So new, I'm not sure. Yeah, text watcher. And this will give you by default three methods before text change, on text change, after text change. So I think I will just use on text change. I don't need the other two methods. I'll, I'll leave it as it is. This and the other one, after text change. Yeah. So in on text change, what I'll do is first and foremost, we'll get the, uh, this one. Okay, so this we can, uh, the text, the string, we can string to be searched, to be searched. We will take it outside only, edit text to be search, get text to string, perfect. Now we have this string in which we have to search, so this we have got it and now here, although I will get it in character sequence but since I need it in string format mostly, so I, what I will do is string, string key and here I will again use my other edit text key dot get text dot to string. And uh, okay, so also I, what I can do is I can change everything to lower, to lower case. This also you can do uh, to ensure uh, if you don't want to go with any kind of case sensitive touch uh, uh, search. And I think I'll do the same thing over here. I'll change it also to lower case. Yeah. So I, I, I'm uh, keeping it simple and I'm converting everything into lower case for both. And uh, yeah, but in case you want to go for case sensitive, you can just skip this part. No, uh, for first and foremost, what I will do is we'll check whether this string key is a part of this or not. So what I will do is string to be search contains whether it contains uh, my this string key or not. If it contains, then only we'll proceed. Uh, we'll, then only we'll do our whatever the logic we have to do here. And that is basically underlining of that part of the uh, string. Otherwise, we have to just skip it uh, if we if it doesn't exist. No, no point uh, doing any operation. So that's why this if else will help us here. If, if condition and no in this if condition, what we'll do is we'll get the start and end index. So in start of and we can search to be search and index of. So uh, and what is my character sequence, which is basically string k. So this will give me the starting index and then similarly I will take the end index which is end index I can just probably name it also index in the start first one so I will just name it as index and this is nothing but int a start no, no, int a start plus the length of the string key which is basically this length yeah so under until then now what I can do is I can create this expandable uh, uh, string. So I have shown this in my other videos also this concept. So yeah, I'll be making spanable st string out of my new expandable string. I think I should go with this builder and here I will have to give the string. So what I'll do is of course string to be search will be my spanner so i'm converting basically this string what is typed here into the spanable uh, string and then i will set the underline over here but what i'll also do is to ensure every time on text change is called this method at the start of this method this is reset so i'll just set the text and whatever i'm capturing here in the start It's set again and then it follows up with the certain operations and uh, yeah if it's found then a spanable string will be called and then in the spanable st string what we'll do is we'll set the set the span and what we'll do is we new underline underline a span perfect what else we will need to have the start index and probably the end index that's it i guess or yeah zero for the last one yeah that's the yeah 
okay and then once we have this then we'll go back to our this one uh, and set the text the spanable string what we just not defined so that's all is what i think and i'll read on my app it never harms to i can read and see what it happens in parallel i'm just checking my code again i think the app has come up so i'll just see yeah so of course this message we have hard code so let me see if i type something yes say for example if i type text wow if you have noticed if you are able to notice it's becoming underlined here text underscore message to text yeah okay i'll do one thing i'll type something else probably i'll type live yeah it's getting underlined if you are able to notice here it's a bit small i know search and and I, I, I can do one more thing. I can do say, li, it underlines li, and then probably I can enter f or something. And if you notice, there's no underlining over here. Perfect. Or probably to make it more clear, what I can also do is I can increase the size of this font over here. I'll push everything a little bit up. And I'll increase the size from 18 to, say, for example, 24. Uh, even further, not 34 could be too big. Uh, what about 28? Looks good, yeah. And I'll make it like so that everything is visible. Perfect. I know I'll read on it to see how it turns up. So this time it's a bit bigger, so it should be more visible. Uh, hopefully, yeah. So if I yeah, if I type some message, say for example, again I'll type a message. So, wow, no, it's very clear. That message is getting underlined to test. Of, of course, it's a case insensitive. So I think even if I type something in caps, it's able to search or mark that. Yeah, because I have made it case insensitive. Perfect. So I think it's working decently fine. Simple text messages. Yeah. So that's how. That's all I wanted to show. That uh, it's pretty easy. I mean, I'm using the spanable string concept over here, and on the go with the own text change listener, I'm reading the words and scanning to the part of the text which matches it and underlining it and rewriting it in this edit text box. So that's all. It's as simple as I'll post all my code on my uh, I think a smart live setup. Yeah, something like that. Search. So see, it's underlined here. Yeah, perfect. So I'll post all this code on my portal, of course. And on control V. I'm not sure. Yeah. So I hope this video is useful to you. That's all from this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.